Yeah, guess what we're going to do? Coney Island. It's going to be amazing. I can't wait. We waited like, I don't know how many times we've been here. We've never gone to Coney, so this is it. Finally time to get our warriors on and get to Coney Island. An amazing day and night with Jack yesterday. So good, but it got really Scottish by the end of it. We had lots of food, lots of beer, lots of cocktails, and it was amazing. Jack, thank you so much. Uh, I love coming back to New York. I see friendly faces. I get to go places where we've actually never been, but that will feel so familiar. Research and I found a guy in 1987 who made a video of this trip to Coney Island. His name was Nelson Sullivan. He's like the original vlogger. 1987, like video camera. And this train was completely different, man. Like it was wrecked, there was graffiti everywhere. Coney Island, Luna Park, this is our third Luna Park of the year, Melbourne, Sydney, now Coney, and this is the one we've always wanted to go to, <laughs> oh man, can you dig it? Can you dig it? Yeah you can. So this is the old original roller coaster called the Cyclone, it's pretty, it's so much exactly the same as the one in Melbourne, when it wasn't open. So this one's 90 years. Oh my god, Ainsley's grand could have went on this. She lived in Yorkers here. Uh, what, what year did she live here? That's amazing. The 20s. Wow. Wow. Nope, not happening. Ah, oh, this is cool. I feel like a big kid. like something straight out of Grand Theft Auto. One of us is a Jesus guy about. Uh, I just accidentally lamped a policeman. <laughs> Oops! I didn't mean it, he walked into me and I totally sidebarred him with my bag, he didn't look happy. Oops! Ridiculous. There's guys flying kites out there, right? And that guy's buzzing them at like, I don't know, 10 meters or something. I presume he's trying to keep people out of the water because of the rip currents. That's the only logic to that. Because he was over the water. That's mad. 
the only time I've ever heard of something like that happening is when they're chasing sharks out of the bay. They do that in Sydney. It's like Jaws. I mentioned Nelson Sullivan earlier on. Nelson Sullivan's this amazing man. So this guy invented vlogging, right? I mean, forget your fun for Louis and your Casey Neistat. This guy was vlogging with an old VHS video camera in 1980. The 1980s, pretty much all the way through the 1980s. Massive icon in the New York downtown art scene. Yeah, this guy invented it. If you look at his footage from 1987, nothing's changed. It's the exact same characteristics. A guy with a big camera, I mean a big camera, talking to the lens, just like me. People looking at his lap, what is he doing? Just like me. People look at you like you are crazy or something if you are taking pictures at the airport. What do they want me to do for two and a half hours at LaGuardia Airport? That's amazing, yeah, 1987. Put that in perspective, he died in 1989 when I was five. This guy was vlogging like, like whenever, you know, just back then. That's crazy, it's so cool. Really, really cool guy. If you get a chance, go and check out some of his footage. I'll leave a wee link below. It's really inspiring. Very strange sensation being on a beach in New York. So we're just going to sit and chill and do what we would do in Spain, I suppose. Just chill out on the beach. It's really nice. It's really relaxing. The fun fair part over there, that's crazy. Crazy busy. But cool. It's got a Blackpool vibe. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, we're going to chill out for the rest of the day, I think. And meet up with Jen later on, our friend Jen. And take in a few bars and just have a good... Another good American, another good American style night in New York. All right, we're going on the cyclone roller coaster. There's a good chance that Ainsley's Grand went on this in the 1920s. We wanted to go and do it just to see what it was like. So it's very reminiscent of the one we went to in Copenhagen and the one we didn't get to go to in Melbourne in Australia. So this is going to be cool. This is going to be fun. <laughs> it's going to be good. You good? <laughs> 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 so much fun, honestly that was so much fun. Uh, yeah, I can imagine your grand going on that in the, the 1920s, but I can imagine that being scary as hell in the 1920s because there's like I know we've got all the towers now in Britain, we've got all the crazy, crazy rides, but that must have been so fast. invigorating and fast and just a sen sensory overload back then. Amazing, really cool. Totally worth it. If you're in Coney Island, check out the good old cycling at Luna Park. It's amazing. So we're at a place called The Freak Bar, recommended this by Jen. This place is really cool. There's a freak show next door, apparently. Uh, we've done enough of that in Austin, I think, to keep Austin weird. Uh, Mermaid, Mermaid Pilsner, well recommended. Cheers, Jen. This is the original Nathan's, right? But there's like 10 of them dotted up and down the front as well. Yeah, Nathan's is busy. I mean, this one's even busier than the one in the front. Wow. What? Coney Island's cool. It's really, really busy. So we're just going to head back into Manhattan, get changed, and then head out and take in a few bars with our friend Jen. So yeah, cool place. Fourth of July weekend. Don't come here. It's too busy. It's like that time we went to Brighton Beach. Remember that? Yeah. That's exactly what it's like. And that was a bank holiday weekend, so yeah, lesson learned. Oh, do you know what I realised? I need to get a cash machine now because of Chase. So this is cool, we're at a little pop-up. Uh, just in the middle of Penn Station. It's cool, lots of food, lots of drink. Cool atmosphere. Yeah, let's take this place in. Holy little bagels. Oh my god, so much good food. I don't know what to have, there's too much. Hey, we're at the end, why don't you go back and choose something? And then I turned vegan when I came yes. back. And then just in the last... It's the first one of the, the, first one of the trip. I've never found this one before. First time we tell of the trip. It's a new one, you think so? It's said to awesome. work on it. Uh, those of you who are subscribers to the channel for a while, you know I love Tombi Idea Tales. I've talked about it a lot. And if you don't know what it is, I'll post a little link below. It's a really cool, fascinating thing in America. Very interesting, very cool conspiracy. Check it out. We're going to this theme bar called The Trailer Park. It's across from the Chelsea Hotel. It's literally a trailer park. It's going to be exciting. It seems really, really cool, so I'm looking forward to it. It totally does remind me of Auto Shrunken Headclub a little bit. 
crazy neons. Let's go in and get lost a little bit in some drinks. Is this the door? That was really good. So we're going to go to Speakeasy now. Uh, it's in the middle of a back. It's in the back of a bakery. This works during the day and at night. There's a crazy secret corridor in a bar. So yeah, Speakeasy and a bakery. It's gonna be cool. Yeah. So this is a bakery by day. Speakeasy by night. Let's go in and see what it's like. This place is so dark. I'm not gonna be able to film anything here. I better ask what time last orders is because the guy's clearing up. Damn good pub though. So the White Horse was shut, we ended up at a place called Bear's Ale House. It's an Irish bar. Oh you got a Guinness. Tonight's gonna end very quickly because uh, we've been drinking quite a lot. Yay! So uh, we're running to get this last train home. It's gonna be fun. No, there are literally two minutes to go. I'm hoping we get there on time. Pine Station, we made it. We did it! We did it! I'm so tired. There was a man in his pants over there. He was a bit scary. Wow. This is the quietest I've ever, ever seen the subway in New York. It's 3am in the morning, July 4th weekend, and there's only other cleaner and another guy over there. That's what I call a successful night out, so uh, let's get started. I'll see you guys soon. Bye!